Hello Aquarius. I hope everybody's doing well today. This is your reading for May 21st through the 31st. We're going to do a Celtic cross and see what messages we get for you guys as far as love is concerned for the remainder of the month. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. And let's see what's going on for you guys. The energy that's around you is the page of pen Ugh, the page of pentacles. My gosh, um, I'm feeling that there's a lot that you guys have to say, and you're anxious to say it, and um, but you just really don't know how to get it out. Okay, I see you looking off onto the horizon and wanting to um, do something new. I'm feeling like a lot of you are probably either you're learning new things um, as far as a job is concerned, uh, embarking on new endeavors even here with this page of Pentacles energy. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn uh, could be significant to you guys as well, an individual. Um, maybe a child here hmm. but definitely something new I feel like you guys are um, not expecting but are anxiously awaiting something here let's see what this is oh what's crossing you is four of wands I'm feeling like there's something new um, that you are starting either you guys some of you guys are moving into um, new places new jobs new relationships and I feel like there's like this anxious energy um, you know just like ready to get started ready to ready to be involved ready to jump into it um, that kind of feeling very excited energy I feel okay the underlying issue here something wanted to jump out there let's see underlying issue here is the two of Pentacles definitely wanting to uh, do something new but it's like you have a lot going on I feel and you're trying to figure out how to balance everything out how to balance your time how you're gonna make this work definitely going to make it work I feel I'm feeling like this adamant um, attitude of you know what is going to be hard um, it may be challenging at times but I am going to make this work Capricorn energy there uh, and this may be for a lot of you dealing with a new job finally feeling like this sense of stability as far as your livelihood is concerned hmm let's see what was going on in the recent past for you guys here the high priestess I feel like something was barren for a while um, if this is a job for some of you this is you guys you know trying to stay positive trying to you know keep your spirits high that you would get something that um, that you like that was gonna make you happy that was gonna bring in the money that you wanted and for others of you that this is a relationship that this is pertaining to um, you guys felt like you needed to follow your heart and where your heart has brought you is to this connection to this relationship that that is making you happy I feel like this is you guys feeling like okay yeah I have my work I have my family but I can also make time for this person because I see happiness, stability with this person. Now we have Piscean energy. And your crowning thoughts. 
We have the Six of Swords. I feel like this is somebody from your past. This is somebody from your past that I feel like you are wanting to let bygones be bygones with. Um, feeling like this situation, this connection is more important than you guys not speaking or um, the secrecy or whatever was ambiguous between you two before. I feel like you guys want to open up to this person and tell them how you feel. Hmm. What's coming in for Aquarius? Strength. Definitely. There's something that I feel like you have been fighting with before within you. Um, but I feel like you guys are taming the beast and you're putting certain things aside for more important things. This is Leo energy here. There could also be a Leo individual that you guys are wanting to be in a connection, a relationship with. And possibly wanting to make an apology to this person. I feel an apology here. Or either somebody is wanting to make an apology to you. Want to work things out. Want to discuss whatever happened between you before in the past. I feel like there is a very strong connection here with you guys. How is Aquarius viewing this situation? Seven of Pentacles. As far as a job is concerned, because I feel like I'm talking to two um, separate groups here. There's, there's two different messages, okay? Um, I feel like this job, this new job that you guys are moving into, that you that you feel like, yeah, it's going to take some work um, and you're just going to have to do what's on your heart and, and feel like, you know, this is going to be a lot to handle. It's probably going to be a lot to adjust to. That this is going to be a very good investment for you. I feel like you are well on your way to the Ten of Pentacles, having everything that you possibly could want as far as a career is concerned. As far as money is concerned, I feel like you're willing to put in the work, the time, the effort um, to make this a successful journey financially. And the relationship aspect as well, you guys are hopeful that this relationship can grow into something um, very significant, possibly even marriage here. A very strong, committed relationship with that Seven of Pentacles energy. Very hopeful. Willing to put in the time. Willing to put in the effort. Necessary. Let's see what the influence here is for you guys. The Eight of Swords. You've thought about this a lot. You've thought about this a lot. And realize that possibly um, you were getting in your own way is what I'm getting from some of you. And I'm feeling that there's somebody that you want to free um, from their thoughts, free from their prison. I'm feeling that there is um, an apology that you guys are possibly wanting to make to someone here. Gemini energy there. Or somebody wants to make an apology to you. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like this this is a cycle that you guys have been in with someone. And I feel like both of you know your own thought, faults here. And um, this person also wants to discuss this situation with you. If you are not currently with this person, this is something that you're thinking about. I'm feeling this person is is feeling the same way that you are. If you're currently with this person, like you've just gotten into a relationship with this person, then this is you guys. Basically, if you were a commitment foe, 
I feel like you're moving out of that because I'm, I'm, I'm getting that this person means a lot to you. You see a very strong potential here for a long-lasting, um, happy, committed relationship. Your hopes or fears here is a king of wands. You want to have the confidence to make this happen. You want to be, I feel like, the king or the queen of your castle. Um, you want to stand in your power. I feel like you are hopeful that this person will be is still attracted to you or is attracted to you and wants the same things that you want that they're on the same page with you again um, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy is strong here and then the overall we have a king of cups very emotionally balanced connection here could be a same-sex relationship does not have to be but I feel like both of you are in control of your emotions and your actions. I feel like this could be a very balanced, happy connection. Okay, For the job situation for some of you, um, I see you guys really being successful and happy. I see you not letting your thoughts of um, a possible failure get in the way because you know that it's up to you to put in the time and effort to make this what you want it to be. Okay? So, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy there. Alright guys? So that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.